Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday, my name is Ruben and this is my review for Netflix's original documentary called Nail Bomber Manhunt. This documentary tells the story of the 1999 London bombings that targeted minority communities and the race to find the far-right extremists behind them. Netflix have a cornucopia of documentaries that I feel like either hit or miss, I, I guess that's the case for most documentaries, uh, but they've had a few uh, that have stood out, like Tiger King. I thought that was fantastic and there's been a few others that have really kind of outstate their welcome because they kind of drag there's like eight hour long episodes or four hour and a half long episodes of this documentary this one does not outstay its welcome it's 72 minutes and if you know anything about the story you'll know it'd be pretty tense and if you're from the uk this will hit uh, close to home uh, i was actually uh, in london quite a bit around that time um I think I was traveling and working around around 1999 and never really f like you hear about it in the background and the news but sometimes if it doesn't directly affect you you don't really realize how close to danger you were and those affected uh, and so this really tackles that story and it brings to light what was actually going on the way it's put together is really quite riveting it kind of focuses on one person that was undercover in the extremist white nazi uh people that you still have today for some reason but yeah that was very prominent and, and amongst riots you see this person who has integrated themselves into this life into their lives to trying to uh try and gather information and stop the evil that was happening at that time um, and we see how that escalates and so through a, a series of interviews this one person that's kind of like in shadowed you get to find out um, or you get to go on that journey with this character and so that is the kind of the driving force behind the storyline and it really puts you on edge as well even though you know like these things have happened already it puts you on edge uh, it keeps it tense and because it's that kind of really short amount of time it's very strange for a documentary to be just 72 minutes but especially a feature length documentary it, it really they've shaved off that kind of the padding that some of them do so it keeps the tense the the, the pacing of the tone that the documentary is going going for at the same time it really kind of shines a light at how the the bombings and the time where we have real footage is going to be quite offensive to some people like where the bombs explode you see um kind of uh you don't actually see the people get exploded thankfully but you do see the, the aftermath of that you see some actual footage of the explosions themselves so do be aware of that as you go into this you if you're in the uk you'll probably know a few people affected by it or you were close to it um this was very much prominent in the news and all over the place you know it was the story that um um, uh, probably at the world at the time uh, where London was under a terrorist attack but it was more uh, racist uh, attack and so the, the minorities were being bombed and it was just an horrific situation and the story manages to tell a really interesting side of the story um, I think there have been story stories told of this story before uh, but the way it's been put together I thought was very interesting it looks great so the editing sequence you know like i kept saying about the tone and the pacing of it they've done a really great job of keeping you on the edge of your seat even though you know you know even though it's past even though it's uh, happened already you're still feeling that intensity and i think that's because it's grounded in character and that's a very clever way to go with the documentary some documentary especially on netflix have the tendency to to be a, an amalgamation of storylines and you've kind of kind of pieced together and there is a narrator that kind of threads the documentary uh, together this one is more on character base and this person so we have these experiences and then we have that interview that kind of drives it together and that's a very interesting look up and a short review i just wanted to kind of flag this up if you're into documentaries um this is a fairly decent one it's pretty intense it is an 18 so be aware that there's going to be some graphic imagery and things that may upset you if you're easily offended even if you're not easily offended this should evoke a response because if you hate racism as much as i do then the fact that people will go as far as this as creating nail bombs I mean, nail bombs are particularly just very wrong for what they do i mean bombs in general are bad but they are it, there's an explanation in this documentary about exactly what a nail bomb does and what it's for and um that for me it was like yeah okay that's a very clever way of really kind of realizing to your audience exactly what its purpose and how much more evil than it is than but that the average normal bomb <laughs> normal bomb uh but you'll get it when you watch it very interesting uh documentary um 
Not a nice topic, but well done. And I give it an A. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this. Are you excited? Seems like a strange thing to be excited. But if you like documentary films, then this is an interesting topic. It's part of our history. Obviously, all documentaries are biased in some form format because whoever's put it together, that'll be there. They've taken as much um, accurate information as they can, but from their perspective, that's the story that they wanted to tell. Uh, but it feels authentic in nature. You never really know unless you were right there. Um, but the people they interviewed who were there, I think that's a clever way of doing it. And so it gives you an insight into the moment, the feeling of everything that was going down at that time. Uh, and so, yeah, I think it's a very well put together documentary. Thanks so much for watching this. But most of all, until next time, remember, live on the Tuesday.